Hey y'all, stay y'all. Peace and Palace Santa 6. It's your girl, Devali Lika, and welcome to the channel. To my new subscribers, hey y'all, stay y'all. Welcome to the channel. To my returning viewers, hey soul cousins. Happy to have y'all. This is like a little night out special. I, um, I kind of got a nudge from my spirit guides to channel for myself. I, like, I kept catching these synchronicities. I've actually been catching them for quite a while, and haven't been acting on them as I should, um, but 11.22, numbers that I get pretty frequently, but I got like 11.55, and then right after 11.33, like one I caught on like a game, and then the 11.55 I caught on a game, and then I caught the 11.33 time, and I'm just like, okay, let's see what's going on. I sat there, and I was like listening to the angel numbers and the, the meaning of the particular angel number, and then something just told me, get up and channel and see what it is that you need to know. And I'm not gonna lie, I start crying by the end of the reading. Like it was really beautiful, a lot of confirmations, and also just my spirit guides kind of pointing out to me certain patterns that I fell into um, that I, you know, have to work on. But ultimately we're all, you know, souls having a human experience that comes with highs and lows and all types of things. So girls just getting ourselves together and all that good stuff. But anyway, um, let's get into the energy and see what's going on. I'm going to be pulling from the African Goddess Rising deck tonight. They also, this is actually a deck I just pulled for myself. And I feel like somebody addressed me in the reading and just kind of told me that I need to do a better job at paying respects to them when I, like I've used these cards on the channel a few different times. I really do like these cards, but lately I realized I haven't really been giving you guys the backstory of the goddess before I give you the guidance and they want me to make sure that I pay respects to them by letting you all know their backstory um, of who they are, where they're from and um you know, before I give you their guidance to you. So that's what I'll make sure I'm doing this reading. But anywho, let's see what's going on. Divine spirit gods, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for the collective. Clear and accurate messages for the collective. What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that their higher self, the universe, their divine spirit guides, the and the um, divine spirit guides, angels and ancestors want them to hear and know the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Any dark magic or evil I've been sent to me to so the way of my platform, I ask that you just return it back to sender, magnified, and bind it to them. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. Okay, don't know what this means. Just a FYI, but I'm like a t-shirt thief, y'all. So when I find a big t-shirt, you know, that somebody wants to leave around, I take it. And yeah, um, I have no idea what it means though. So. <laughs> but anywho, let's see what's going on. needs to hear and know the most at this time. What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? Okay, a bunch want to come out. What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? Self-sabotage came out. The goddess's name is Mom Lumbo. Self sabotage. <sighs> so your guides might be your um somebody may be having some issues with like maybe some type of self sabotage behavior. Um and you know you you know self sabotage can be a lot of things. It doesn't have to mean like you're, let me see, self-sabotage doesn't mean that you have to be like doing something absolutely terrible to yourself. It can be something just as simple as choosing to not take care of your body, not eat healthy, overindulge in certain things that you know you don't need to be overindulging in. Um, it can be 
uh, sabotaging good connections, whatever it may be. Oh, wow. Okay. And then we have um, Long Bubby Susie, and it's shame. So some of you actually may be aware of some type of self-sabotage behavior or, you know, just some, some type of in certain areas where you... Um, or holding yourself accountable. But you know what? I feel like Spirit is saying that you, you know, shame is one of the lowest out of all, like, you know, all emotions have a particular frequency and fear and shame are like literally at the bottom of the list of when it comes to like low vibrational energy. Like that is as low of a vibration that you can be in is, is shame. Um, so this is something that, you know, your guides definitely want you to work through. Let's see. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. And this also can be, um, oh, oh, first and foremost, all of my readings are general. So please take what resonates to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. I can't be talking about you or someone who is in your energy, knowingly or unknowingly. Flip and switch the roles they apply to your situation because I could be saying you and I'm actually talking about the person who's in your energy. I could say he and I'm actually talking about a she. So just flip and switch the roles. Also, my readings are timeless. So this could apply to past, present, or future. Use your discernment and do not force anything to fit. I kind of miss actually doing readings after the midnight hour. I have to get back into that because that's like my favorite time to channel. And then it says naked. Hmm. Hmm. I'm like, naked is like, For somebody, the, the form of self-sabotage has a lot to do with somebody not addressing their wounds. Somebody trying to, like, you know, they, they, they feel, it's like they feel shame. Or for some of you, maybe you're, you actually didn't self-sabotage. For some of you, maybe you were in a connection, a situation, a something that came to an end. And you feel some type of shame, like some type of shame ab about it. But... Like, you're kind of covering this shame up with, like, some form of distraction. And this, the distraction may be, the distractions, the, the things that you're using as a distraction could actually be a form of self-sabotage because you're suppressing, it's like, you're, like, suppressing emotions. Naked, the, na oh, yeah, so the, the last card that just came out, excuse me, I didn't even address it. Mami Wata. Um, I'm, I'm sure maybe some of you have actually heard of this particular uh, goddess, but Mami Wata, and she re um, it's uh, naked is what she represents. But it's a, it, I, I know a little bit about it, and I believe it has a lot to do with, like, vulnerability, like being able to be, you know, comfortable being uncomfortable with your vulnerability or, you know, emotions, whatever it may be. But anywho, let me just get the textbook definitions so I can dive a little bit deeper into it. But it's just kind of what I'm feeling. Somebody's like really being harder on themselves. And I think the shame is just making you go deeper into like suppressing something. But how you're suppressing it is in like a very um just not conducive to your growth or actually ever healing whatever it is that you're feeling ashamed about. Let me see what this is. Um, so the very first one, like I said, was Mom Lombo, self-sabotage. I know it's a little dark in here, y'all. I wonder if I should, hold on, let me do this. Come off, damn it. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Ow, ooh, ooh, that thing hot. Oh, that's actually much better. But anyway, um, so cool. Uh, yeah. Um, hold on. It actually might be brighter than what I'm okay with. <laughs> anyway, um, so okay. 
Where are we at? Mom Lambo. Let's find that. Okay, 48. All right, so the backstory of Mom Lumbo. Um, so her shadow, um, the shadow, shadow of self sabotage. She's from Zulu. Her temple is shadows, and her element is bush. So shadow, shadow monster, Mom Lumbo is the brain sucking, snake like, water dwelling Zulu goddess of rivers. Okay, so that was her backstory. <laughs> and um, her guidance to you is, you're holding yourself apart from your blessings. What ancient pain are you trying to stuff down, numb, ignore, or avoid? What does your self-sabotage help you to avoid? Your inner saboteur is clever. Seductive patterns of behavior block your path. Okay, seductive patterns of behavior block your path and your power. Distractions, addictions, cravings, and unhealthy habits will not bring you your best. Okay, so for some of you, and I just wanna like, I'm not coming for nobody, cause I ain't gonna act like I've never done it. But for some of you, you have used the get under somebody to get over somebody method and it really has not led you to feeling any better about healing whatever it is that you're trying to heal with somebody that maybe you have separated from or maybe it doesn't even have to deal with the action do with an actual relationship but somebody is maybe using some type of and you know for it, it's different for all of you for some of you it may be sex some of you it may be drinking some of you it may be smoking it just may gambling um, whatever it may be, but somebody is using some type of vice, um, to numb out whatever shame that they feel. It's like, okay, so somebody was hurt. Okay. Somebody has been heartbroken and due to their heartbreak, they've been doing other type of, they've been leaning towards other type of vices, which honestly it's a natural human response. A lot of people do it. So I'm not coming for anybody, but you know, anyway, um, so, you know, you're clinging to certain type of vices and you're not happy with yourself. Like deep down inside on an intuitive level, you you you're you can hear your inner voice telling you like, yo, you're doing too much like or you shouldn't be doing this or really again, like whatever it may be. Somebody is feeling some type of shame about what they've been uh, about their self-sabotage behavior. So quite frankly, I mean, that's a that's that's actually a beautiful thing in itself because um you know, taking accountability is the first step to anything. You have to admit, you know, be able to admit it. Like if to, to feel ashamed, to, to feel ashamed for some, about something, or maybe for, for some of you, it, it's, you feel uh, like ashamed of choosing a particular person when you honestly shouldn't. But anyway, it says your inner bully is the voice telling you, you messed up. Yeah. See, Somebody feels for some of you it's some the, the story is going to be it's going to be different for 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 some of you um for a lot of you but for some of you um you feel like you made like you're beating yourself up about a, your choice in a person and like I said like I hate to I hate to like really push that cuz I know a lot of people have been through some really traumatic relationships and I would never like I I don't want to make it sound like oh I feel like you should have went through that but I do feel like bad relationships um if you take it for the lesson that's tied to it it can actually be a really beautiful thing um you know uh so, yeah. But anyway, it says your inner belief is the voice telling you you messed up. The You messed up. The part of you that is jealous, the anger you don't know what to do with, your stuck inner procrastinator, and your toxic relationship choices. Stop terrorizing yourself with broken promises of discipline 
Instead, choose devotion to choose, wait, excuse me, choose devotion to your chosen pathways. What inspired action can you take today? God is declaration. I have compassion for myself. And it's so crazy that I have compassion for myself. This is tied to like, you know, this is the, the backstory of the self-sabotage, but you need to have compassion for yourself for the, whatever shame that you're feeling. Have compassion for yourself. You know, like we all fall short. Like we all fall short. Nobody is above falling short. Nobody is above choose. Nobody is above heartbreak. Nobody is above choosing a wrong, you know, choosing the wrong partner. You know, and if, if, if for, for some of you, if it's been a habit of you choosing the wrong partner, it has a great deal to do with there's been lessons tied to these partners that you're not actually learning. So therefore, you're kind of repeating, you're repeating the lesson over and over again. But versus you looking at it as, okay, there's lessons tied to these people, you're beating yourself up saying, I just always choose the wrong person. Or I just always get my heart broken. I always come in, I give my heart, and then I get my heart broken. That's because there is a lesson. There was a lesson tied to really the first heartbreak, but you didn't catch it. Maybe the only thing you took for, like, that's what I'm saying. For a lot of people, if the only thing you're taking from leaving a situation is, oh, I'll never mess with that mother again. If that's the only thing you're taking from the relationship or, like, your experience in that relationship, then you are likely to meet the same demon in a different body because the lesson is much bigger than just your just your choice in that person. But what even what even attracted you to that person? What even made you stay longer than you know you should have? There's a, there's a bunch of different things that we can take from, you know, getting in relationships that, you know, weren't the greatest, but at the end of the day are tied to a really beautiful lesson. So goddess declaration and um, what I want you all to use as a daily affirmation, the goddess declaration, mom Lombo, she is saying to have compassion for myself. So say have, I have compassion for myself. Okay. All right. Let's move on to long bubby Susie. Where are you at? Okay, 38. 38. Ah, I went right past it. Okay, so. Um, Long Bubby Susie, her shadow, it's shadow of shame. Um, she is from Belize. It says Girafuna or Girafuna, Belize. Her temple is shadows, her element is fire. It says Long Bubby Susie keeps the children of Belize terrified. Viewed as a shadow monster. I'm sorry, but the energy is just like, Because you know what her, her backstory was like really dark. And then hers is kind of starting off dark as well. But okay. Anyway, it says Long Bubby Susie keeps the children of Belize terrified. Viewed as a shadow monster, she has the power to kill or to nurture with her long, scary breasts that contain milk and poison. This beautiful Afro-Indigenous spirit may be a distortion of the Erica, Arak, the Ar, the Arawak, Taino Moon Goddess Atabe. Y'all, that's why I don't really read the backstories because I'm. A lot of the words I can't pronounce, and because I don't want to butcher them, I just don't read them. But they said, fuck that. Give them their recognition and their backstory before you go out and just start giving out my guidance. So that's the backstory of Long Bubby Susie. And her guidance to you is, you are beautiful and loved. Every part of you and your journey is beautiful. Even the ugliest moments. You have a heart, soul, and breath that makes you beautiful. You are secretly scared that you are not enough. Oh, man, baby. Baby, I feel, gosh. I'm like feeling for somebody right now, but it says you are beautiful and loved. Every part of you and your journey is beautiful, even the ugliest moments. You have a heart, soul, and breath that makes you beautiful. 
You are secretly scared that you are not enough. Shame is lying to you. You are not broken, unlovable, ugly, or unworthy. Shame keeps you small and hiding. Accept yourself now. You are a bright light. Allow yourself to see who you really are. You are doing the very best you can. You are lovable and you are complete. Goddess Declaration, I am protected. Write that as well as um, one of your daily affirmations. For somebody, I really got a very dark visual um, as I read that. Somebody could have been in a really nasty connection with somebody who really... Um, this can be a trigger warning for some of you. So, like, if it resonates for some of you, great. It's somebody, I know for a fact it's somebody's story. But you were dealing with somebody who is, like, degrading you. Like, when they would have sex with you, it would be, like, in a really degrading way. Or this person would just degrade you a lot, um, call you ugly. Like, just really try to tear you down. For some of you, made you feel ashamed for like, you know, maybe your body after birthing kids. And it's like, for some of you, maybe you've like left the situation, but you are really still carrying the wounds tied. Like somebody, for some, for some of you, somebody went through a great deal of like emotional abuse mental emotional and for some of you physical abuse um yeah and then they get naked after this so naked i'm looking at it more so figuratively than actually uh literally but i think it's a little bit of both i think Somebody feels uncomfortable with their naked body. Y'all, can y'all go look at my post for whoever that, who, if that resonated, when I said that, if that resonated with you at all, I made a post, I, I posted something that says something along the lines. Fuck. Can I click off and go to it? Something along the lines of every day dance in the mirror butt naked. It's like for, as a form of healing and confident booster and confident booster dance in the mirror every day naked and tell yourself how beautiful and how amazing you look. I don't care how you're shaped. I don't care what insecurities you have. Just do it. I've actually been doing it since I posted. And quite frankly, can I just tell y'all I feel like this shit? <laughs> <laughs> like for real it does a lot just do it but anywho yeah let's move on to the next card mommy wata naked look how like now that like you actually get the light on it y'all look how beautiful these cards are like how could i not want to pull from these cards they are so gorgeous gosh anyway mommy wata 60 Be compassionate with yourself. Whatever that is, I, I just figured out what the title is going to be. Aw, oh, damn it. My attention span is so goddamn short. Queen, what is it? Mommy, watch it. I forgot the number that fast. All I said is two goddamn words and lost the number. Mommy, watch 60. There it is. That's what I said. <laughs> it's late. It's 150. Shit. Okay, so Mommy Wata, um, a goddess of emotional nakedness. Her temple is Griots. Griots? It's G-R-I-O-T-S. I don't really know how to pronounce it, y'all. I don't think I've even ever seen the word. The element is water. Mommy Wata and Mommy Wata and her sisters live in the Ikpoba River in Benin City, Nigeria. But the ancient mermaid goddess is her own global phenomenon. Shut up, y'all, because I don't even say phenomenon. It says, 
This is why I don't read it because I butcher it. Nigeria, but the ancient mermaid goddess is her own global pantheon. That's what that says. Mommy Wata influences emotional emotions and gifts. Her followers. Wait, Mommy Wata influences emotions and gifts her followers with clairvoyance and healing powers. Golly. Sorry, y'all. My, my reading sucking a little bit today. But anyway, Mommy Wata's guidance to you is hide no more. The emotional nakedness you avoid is your super is your superpower, not your shame. Being emotionally naked means being vulnerable enough for the real you to shine through. Vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. Practice being transparent. Start with the people closest to you. Say, I haven't been showing you the whole me, but I am starting today. Have the courage to feel and express your feelings without people pleasing. Speak your truth. Share your story. Cultivate an appreciation for vulnerability in others. Become comfortable with feeling uncomfortable and making others uncomfortable. Goddess declaration. I have the courage to be vulnerable. So that's um, another uh, daily affirmation that I want you all to, to write down and use. And it is, I have the courage to be vulnerable. So for some of you, I just feel like something that you experience has really made you go deep within the shell. And when spirit is saying something along the lines of showing showing people the real you, it's just that it's not like you just go around and you try to be this fake person that everybody likes. Maybe for some of you that is the case. But I think for a lot of you, the situation is just that you are the trauma stricken the trauma-stricken, emotionally suppressed, unhealed version of yourself. And that is not the true you. Something has pushed you in this shame of yourself and who you are based off what you experience. For some of you, this isn't even a, this isn't even a just relationship. For some of you, you have a really, really uh, traumatic, um, like a uh, childhood trauma from like maybe your parents or a, or a family member or something. And it's put you in this place of like, feeling some type of shame for yourself. For some of you, somebody has actually said to you that you're not attractive and you're only good for, for like laying on your back. This is for somebody specific. For somebody, this is this reading is going to be like triggering for them. Like I can feel it. Like I don't know what exactly somebody went through, but I'm just getting a lot of, not so bright uh, thoughts or like emotions. The, the energy I'm getting is just not very bright. Liberation. Liberation. Queen, mother, nanny. It's beautiful. These cards are so freaking beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. They, they showed out. Do you hear me? They showed out with these cards. And y'all have had this deck for so long, and I'm st I am still look at it like, just look how beautiful it is. 74. Let me read this, too, because for some reason I felt like a fourth card was supposed to be pulled. And that's kind of how I did my reading. I don't know why. Like, I just kept being guided to do four, 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 and fours. Um, but anyway. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. 74. So, Queen Mother Natty, her goddess, um, goddess of liberation... She's from Maroons, Jamaica. Her temple is Queens and her element is fire. Queen Mother Nanny of the Maroons was a spiritual leader, military strategist, and a revolutionary. This Ashanti healer was brought to Jamaica in chains and escaped to lead rebellions. Nanny helped to free over 800 enslaved people. Okay, girl. Much respect to Queen Mother Nanny. And her guidance to you is break free. Your dreams hold the power and the keys to your liberation. You are freedom herself. Rise up. You deserve to feel free. I'm sorry, y'all. I lost my place. Uh, you deserve to feel free. What do you imagine for yourself? Daring to manifest your dreams as a part of your personal liberation. Find your own personal liberation code and your soul's unspoken desires. Life is too short to live within someone else's story. 
Yeah, and for some of you living in the shadows of someone else's story, the story is not even your own story. It's like it's it's one that somebody has told you. It's a picture that somebody has painted to you. Some really insecure piece of shit person has pushed like a perspective or a narrative on somebody and they 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 believed it. I really believe somebody went through a great deal of like mental, emotional abuse and they're like really having, you're probably the most beautiful thing walking inside and out. And somebody's seen that and tried their hardest to dim your light. Rather, this is a parent because I'm parents can be karmic too, y'all. Like, let's just come on. <laughs> Um, but anywho, it says, find your own personal liberation codes and your soul's unspoken desires. Life is too short to live within someone else's story. Divine blessings and magic are on your side. Enjoying your freedom fully is the best gift to your ancestors. Goddess declaration, my dreams empower me. All right, Spirit, where do you want me to go from here? Where do you want me to go from here? They told me, but they're sitting out, so. I have a mother. I guess I got to collect the needs of here another mess at this time. What is it that they need to hear another mess at this time? Y'all better mind y'all business about my elbows being ashy. <laughs> seen nothing definitely a little ashy dark skin people problems the metal oh y'all it's good though it's really ashy like it's not even funny y'all wouldn't even have seen it if i'd have left it dark in here see i done tried to light this room up for y'all to see the cards and now i'm on here exposing my ashy my ashy elbows to y'all this is y'all fault and y'all ain't right why did i hear the i heard it in my head some of you came out of a connection that just had a lot of fighting and conflict and just, and I'm hearing like, and it could have been like inner, like not, not even necessarily like physical conflict. For some people, it's like inner conflict. Oh, spirit. Hmm. somebody it's definitely somebody from your past but then what? for some of you like you fought really hard to be in a relationship with somebody that maybe you have like a lot of history with maybe you known him since you were like a kid or something and you thought you guys were going to have like this hat. Wait, or, but this is what's coming. Oh, this is coming in. Yeah, this is coming in. You guys are getting out of, you're out of this, like you're coming out of this energy of conflict. And for some of you, a lot of this conflict, like this inner conflict, or a lot of this like, this energy that I was picking up with these goddess cards, it has a lot to do, like, I feel like a lot of this started in some of you all's childhood. But it looks like you're moving towards, like, some type of victory and success. Out of being, yeah, out of being in, a, like, a really, like, mentally, like, unst like, mentally, just, like, in a place of like fear and anxiety. 
Yeah, you're like... Some of you all need to just rest. Some of you all need to just rest because a lot of you, the reason why, like, you're carrying a lot of this, this like trauma, shame, whatever, is because you're like suppressing emotions with some type of distractions or something. Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, it's like... Queen of Swords. Hold on, y'all. Somebody is like not in their heart space. It's like you, whatever connection you were in, it's like it brought you a lot of fear and anxiety. And, and maybe like some financial hardships for a lot of you. But for a lot of you, it's like at some point, it's like something something clicked. And it was just like, you know what? Like I'm at a point where I'm standing on business. Queen of Swords energy. I'm standing on business. I'm fucking done. I'm putting, I'm putting my motherfucking foot down, standing on business. And I'm leaving this person out in the cold. With the five of pentacles, that's what I'm getting. Like, and somebody may be in some regret for how they did you, <laughs> but it's there. It's it's it's, it's okay because you're gonna get you're gonna get your karmic justice. Karmic justice for whatever it is that you went through, you're gonna get your karmic justice. Justice, justice showed itself. Your karmic justice, and you're gonna actually meet, you're actually gonna get your ten of cups with somebody. Mm -hmm. See, the Wheel of Fortune was actually in reverse. And right after the Wheel of Fortune is the devil. So this person, yeah, the just the justice is this person, whoever, whoever this is, who is somebody, because a lot of this, like a lot of this is just something that you all experience that has you all in this energy. But this person is reaping a lot, is, is reaping a lot of bad luck. We got the justice, the devil card. The justice, the devil card, and the will of fortune in reverse. Yeah. And you're trying to just find your inner strength after whatever ten of swords situation that you encounter with this person. At this point, you're moving forward. You're looking forward to the future. You're 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 trying to just look forward to the future. But a lot of you are just fighting a lot of inner conflict. A lot of inner conflict just for what you experience it's, it's you know like y'all i and you know i even had i even had to tell myself this too yeah balance is coming in some a king of pentacles it could be coming in too is it maybe significant but we have temperance peace like you know you're you're in a place and i think that's why this queen mother nanny came up of liberation and freedom you're at a place which you really need to be thankful that you're and you're, you're out of this cycle you're not in this cycle anymore That you're not, like, you know, that you're not in this cycle anymore. And all you have to do is look towards the future because you do got a Ten of Cups and it look like a King of Pentacles coming in for somebody. Let me get some messages from the universe. Y'all know I don't even pull tarot for real, for real. That's, that's not really my go-to. But some every once, every now and again... 
I get a little nudge. Let's get some messages from the universe. No. I just heard angel numbers. Okay. So let's get some angel numbers and I'm going to close out. I wanted to make it even shorter than this, but whatever. Give y'all something to watch versus scrolling on Instagram or TikTok or something. <laughs> So those this right this story uh you know this reading resonates too. Oh gosh. Divine spirit guys, angels, ancestors, cosmic family. So I mean, before I even get into this, I just want y'all to know whoever it is that put you through whatever type of mental, emotional, physical abuse, they are gonna get theirs. This is the year for them. They gonna get theirs for certain. And for some of them, they probably had some type of fucking demonic attachments or something to them for the devil card to come out like that. This could have been somebody that, that the relationship really only had purpose because you guys were, it's probably a trauma bond. messages do you want me to close out the reading with what advice do you want to leave them with Eleven, eleven. that's all about new beginnings baby every time i see uh 11, 11 i think new beginnings okay Got 1551, hold your vision. 5555, 55, change. Um, well, five, fives are change. I don't really know what the message they got on here, but give me a fourth card, Spirit. Hold on. Fourth card, please. Thank you. And 2121, 1111. It says. Wish come true, moderation, patience, flowing, self-realization, manifestation, gateway, taking action. It says, you're in for a lucky break. It may come as happy news, experience, new opportunities, or an exciting acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It's not a coincidence, but a gift from fate. Beautiful. Then we have 1551, hold your vision, manifestation, abundance, money, dreams, vision, and prosperity. Come on now. <laughs> what they talk about? Focus on the good and maintain your your concentration on the outcomes on the outcomes you desire. Excuse me. Focus focus on the good and maintain your your concentration on the outcomes you desire. It's time to put your faith and time into your ideas and pursue your goals with all your might. You have such a beautiful, courageous, and brave spirit. Yes, you do. Because you done been through some shit. And you still standing. Clarity. Great transformation. 55, 55. Um, clarity. Great transformation. Major changes. Opportunity. Fast pace. Forward. And process. It says you aren't a victim of... You, you, oh, you aren't a victim of circumstance. Rather, you are a beneficiary of it. If that weren't the case, life would be pretty dull. <laughs> you will set yourself up for success in the long run if you are willing to adapt to this shift. Everything is working out for the best at long. Wait, for the best. At long last, you are accomplishing what you set out to do. Everything will work out perfectly in the end. 2121. Energy levels, prosperity, harmony, journey, waiting, discipline, exaggeration, the opposite sex. The day, the day you're waiting for will come. Maintain discipline. You're getting closer to your end goal. There's no need to overextend yourself. Guard your energy to remain focused. It will pay off. It's a climb, not an elevator ride. Trust in you. Is there, is there a reason why I want to pull four? more i'm just going to do four of the universe messages from the universe i'll keep this four thing going tell me more spirit 
What advice do you want to leave the collective off with for this reading? What advice do you want them to take from this reading? To close this reading out, Spirit. Please just block out all interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. I'm going to do one more. Two more spirit. Two more spirit. Two twelve AM. That may be significant to you. All right, one more. One more spirit. Yep. This I'm reading the beginning of something. I'm already feeling something. Oh, okay. Flipped over. You know, I normally take flowers, but I'll take that. Anyway, it says, love yourself more by saying no to things that feel draining and burdening for you. Saying no when you want to saying no when you want to say no instead of saying yes to please other people is a real act of self-love. So some of you, that's another way that you self-sabotage too. You self-sabotage by putting people before yourself. Putting people's happiness, their, you know, their wants before your own. All right, and then it says, comparing yourself to others keep you stuck in a cycle of guilt and shame. <laughs> Y'all see that shame word came up, came up again? For some of you, especially because shame is linked to Long Bubby Susie, some of you are... And y'all, we have to get out of that. Stay off social media. Comparing yourself to these girls that are got a whole build a body. Like, come on like not even realistic and maybe for some of you like you you said you, you were in a um this could just for somebody specific like you were in a relationship with somebody who was just always looking and checking other other women or other men out how cut or how 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 you know curvy or whatever they were yeah stop comparing yourself to other people you are uniquely beautiful Period, point blank. Don't ever let nobody knock you off your, your pet, try to knock you off your fucking pedestal because they, they feel like shit about themselves. Comparing yourself to others keeps you stuck in a cycle of guilt and shame and continues to separate you from your blessings. It keeps you small. Understand that everyone has their own journey, which always unfolds in divine timing. Your time will come. So for you all that are dealing with this, 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 this feeling of shame, the chakras that really that you really may be experiencing some type of block in is your root, your sacral, and your solar plexus chakra. Those are your three bottom chakras. You got your root, you got your sacral chakra, and your hips, and your solar plexus chakra. I genuinely believe, and shit, not even that. Honestly, you guys just need a whole chakra alignment because even your heart chakra is is kind of blocked off because of the with the the naked card, which is um representing emotional vulnerability. Um, so even your heart chakra may be closed off and it just has a lot to do with a great deal of trauma that you have suppressed. So meditation, yoga, really, really helpful. I, I mean, I really, I really, I, I really suggest yoga, especially like any type of hip opening exercises, stretches, really good to get emotions and store trauma flowing. Um, anyway, the next one we have is, I know, uh, this is from a, this is from a spirit guide. It says, I know that you have been questioning yourself lately and wondering if you're good enough or strong enough to do that, which your heart desires to do. This message, this message is here to remind you that you really are more than your, you really are more than capable of doing it. Rise up and take that leap of faith. The last one, is, somebody is gorgeous. Somebody is gorgeous. And somebody really tried to push 
some insecure motherfucker, gorgeous or extremely handsome and shit. Men could be gorgeous too, because I will tell if a uh, shit a good looking man, I'll tell a man he gorgeous. But anyway, <laughs> but anywho, um, yeah, I feel like you're like really, you're actually very very attractive. Like, you just have an energy that is just really appealing to people. And somebody really tried to knock you down. And quite frankly, if they have you in the, if if they got you to a point where you're in this place of, of shame, for some of you, it's just a heartbreak that led to self-sabotaging behavior on your part as to how to cope with the heartbreak and, you're, and you feel ashamed about it. For some of you, you were in a relationship where somebody tried to make you feel ashamed of yourself. Because they're a fucking bastard. A nobody. Anyway, try not to dwell on the past or spend too much time worrying about the future. All it does is steal your joy and sense of inner peace. Concentrate on the here and now and enjoy every moment for what it is. You are creating new memories. So this has been your reading collective. If this at all resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is a beautiful way to energetically donate back to the channel. But until next time, I love you all so much.